Those who build race cars, perhaps the best job in the world, often have a wish to challenge speed. Well, all the companies of Italy's Motor Valley have built, and still build, race cars. But if you want to race and win, you need to start from something special. Once upon a time, it took just a pencil, a rubber, and some ink. Nowadays, if you want to assemble a race car or a Formula One car, everything has changed and you need so many people. The right number of people? Well, that's a secret. Like many other things in the motor racing world, what we do know is that both nowadays and in the past, the first step to building an F1 car is the design. Some car manufacturers still use ink and pencils, like Adrian Newey, but nearly everyone designs cars on computers today. Once you have decided on things like the suspension, the wheelbase and engine, the team then splits up. One group keeps dealing with the design and turns the CAD model into CAM, asking computer-controlled machines to mill every component. The other group works in the wind tunnel and assesses the quality of components using telemetry. More than 300 people work on every single step in the creation of a single-seater. In the meantime, an engineering team starts to figure out how to put everything together inside the car body. Now you must be wondering, why don't they just use standard parts? Well, because this is Formula One and parts must be as durable as possible. And even when it looks like you're done, the development phase continues throughout the season. Four to five chassis are made, the design work is constantly reviewed, and at the end of the season, the single-seater has undergone more than 20,000 design modifications since its launch. A lot of changes are made on the go, but there are also certainties, like carbon fiber, which is 10 times stronger than iron, but weighs half as much. Nowadays, many parts in F1 cars are built using this material. To be more accurate, some years ago, Alpha Tauri counted 77,000 of them. But the companies in the Motor Valley don't compete only with Formula One cars. Ferrari participates in the World Endurance Championship, WEC, and Lamborghini in many endurance championships too. In such cases, you start from a road car to obtain the vehicle that's capable of winning on hard and difficult tracks. Dallara supplies frames to the IndyCar Championship in America, where single-seaters are shorter than a Formula One car, but so fast at the same time. The company's also played a leading role in the IMSA Championship. Obviously, here in Italy's Motor Valley, they're very good at manufacturing motorcycles as well. Just ask Ducati, which is becoming more and more competitive in MotoGP, being the fastest bike in this championship and winning the World Superbike for more than 30 years. Why? because speed is made in Italy, and that's a language understood around the world.